I'm Senior Associate Director Claire Klieger. Whether you're just getting started exploring possible career paths or already have a sense of what you'd like to pursue, in this preceptorial, we'll share year-by-year -year planning tips, as well as our best kept secrets for utilizing our career resources to give you a head start on your personalized career journey. Career Services is the centralized office for any and all career-related questions. From job and internship searches to applying to graduate school, we're here to help guide you to your ultimate goals. We provide one-on-one -on -one advising appointments, resume and cover letter review, interview prep, networking opportunities, negotiating advice, workshops, career fairs, and more. Some of these things you'll want to start think taking advantage of right away. Hi, my name is Milen Kirshner. I was an English and history double major as an undergrad. So I like working with college students because I really remember that feeling of being pretty uncertain what I was gonna do after graduation. Um, in addition to many roles in career services, I also got to work in the Caribbean for a few years. I planned weddings and some corporate incentive trips at the Ritz-Carlton in St. Thomas. So that is a fun fact about me. Um, and congratulations and welcome to Penn. Hi, I'm Zeta Bryant. I'm the administrative coordinator for the college team. And two fun facts about me are one, I really like penguins. And two, I studied abroad in Cuba a couple of years ago and I would really like to return. Hi, I'm Natty. I love working with college students because of all the exciting things you're interested in from politics to entertainment, even finance to nonprofits. Um, one thing that's a little bit random about me, but I have photographic evidence of is I once rode an ostrich. Hey everybody, my name is Ann Dickinson, and a fun fact about me is my dog Lucy has been to every single state on the East Coast. Hi, my name is Emily Parali. When I'm not working with students, I love reading and taking care of my houseplants. I have six different species of Hoya. I'm Claire Klieger. I love working with students in the college because of the diverse range of career paths they pursue. Liberal arts background gives you lots of transferable skill sets that make you a valuable asset in just about any workplace. In particular, I have a soft spot for students who aren't sure what they want to be when they grow up because that's very much how I felt as an undergrad. And a fun fact about me is that I didn't get my driver's license until after I graduated from high school because I grew up overseas, specifically graduating from high school in Morocco. Peer Career Advisors are a team of undergraduate students who have been specially trained to help answer your questions about resume and cover letters, your job and internship search, networking, career services resources, and more. Meeting with a PCA is a great way to get quick feedback on a resume, prepare for an interview, or get insight into the job search process. Not only are PCAs trained as Career Services Advisors, they have the added benefit of speaking from recent experience. Most PCAs are available for same-day drop-ins, so you don't have to wait for an appointment. The most important thing for you to do right now is to settle in, adjust to your classes and to being a student at Penn. There are incredible resources for you to take advantage of, so dedicate some time to identifying which will be most helpful to you. First, explore your interests through a variety of classes and get to know your pre-major advisor. They'll have great recommendations for you and can point you to offices on campus that can address your exact needs. You'll also be able to take classes past fail this semester. So keep an open dialogue with your advisor if that's something you end up considering. Take advantage of professors' office hours and be in touch with your TAs if you're having trouble grasping any concepts. They're all there to help you. Your first semester of college is going to feel very different than what you imagined when you committed to Penn, but there will still be many ways to get involved in student groups and to volunteer. Check out the Student Activities Council's Fall Activities Fair, which will take place virtually on a web platform designed by Penn students. The SAC Fall Fair will take place September 1st through September 3rd. Remember, you've just begun your collegiate career. You don't need to know yet what you'll pursue after graduation or even what your plans will be this summer. These courses and activities that you'll get to explore here at Penn will shape your journey and career services advisors are happy to talk with you wherever you may be in the process. Students often ask us, what should I be doing right now? Career Services has prepared a timeline, which you can refer to as you consider these big career questions. It breaks down things that you should be doing and thinking about during each of your undergraduate years at Penn. Keep in mind that they're not hard and fast instructions you need to follow, but more of a guide we hope you'll reference throughout your time at Penn to help you plan for your career. Handshake's your platform to connect with Career Services, identify opportunities, explore upcoming events, and much more. One of my favorite things about Handshake is that there are thousands of employers from all kinds of industries actively in the system looking for Penn students. You can find opportunities in nonprofits, sports, finance, entertainment, marketing, museums, and so much more. 
Whatever your interest, Handshake has you covered. All Penn students have a Handshake account created automatically at the start of classes, so all you need to do is log in using your Penn key. If this is your first time logging in, it's a good idea to fill out your career interests. Since Handshake has so many different opportunities, completing your profile and sharing what you may be tentatively interested in will help Handshake bring those opportunities directly to you. For example, you can see how on my homepage, Handshake features some of my interests like movies, TV, and music, and performing in fine arts. And of course, when you're ready, Handshake also is where you can stay in touch with us by scheduling an appointment. Outside of Handshake, you can also stay up to date by receiving a customized newsletter from our office featuring jobs, resources, and blog articles all tailored to your interests. You can set these preferences on the Career Services homepage by logging in with your pen key and navigating to Preferences. You can customize the frequency in which you receive these emails by going to the alerts and emails section. I would recommend weekly, but if you really want to stay up to date, you can have it as frequently as daily. Choosing a major can be a confusing and an overwhelming task, especially for students with varied interests, but it doesn't have to be. One thing to know is that your major definitely does not dictate your career path. In fact, if you look at our postgraduate career surveys, you will see that students of all types of majors go into different fields. For instance, we've had English majors get a job in the technology industry, mathematics majors who work in the sports, hospitality, or food industries, and theater arts majors who are hired in the field of finance. When selecting your major, there are a few items to consider. First, brainstorm what it is you like to do. Are you a gifted writer? Do you like working with numbers? Are you creative? Are you fascinated by science? What classes did you love in high school? And what classes could you have done without? Creating a baseline of your likes and interests will help to get you started when selecting your major. Once you've done some contemplating, you can consider researching the many majors offered by the College of Arts and Sciences, and perhaps schedule a meeting with an academic advisor. While major doesn't determine your career, it's also smart to start thinking about career options. Again, what do you like to do? What are your interests? What are you good at? And how do you best succeed? Now for international students looking to work in the US after they graduate, major choice could also have visa implications. So it's important to touch base with a career advisor as well as an international scholar and student services advisor before finalizing your major choice. Being in touch with these key attributes will help you in working with your career advisor to research and narrow a focused career path. It's a common misconception that students studying in the college are not as competitive for jobs and internships as students studying in Penn's professional schools, such as Wharton and engineering. In reality, this is not the case at all. Each year, we generate school-wide as well as school-specific reports, which can be found right on our website under the Outcomes tab. If you navigate to the postgraduate reports, you can see the top fields that our graduating seniors went into in 2019. If you look at the entire undergrad report, which includes all schools, you'll see the top employment industries are financial services, consulting, and technology. If you then look at the college specific report, you'll see the top industries are the same, consulting, financial services, and technology. This is because employers seek skill sets and experiences when looking for top candidates. And those can come from many different arenas, such as extracurriculars, volunteering, and student groups, and not just from academics. In fact, according to a recent employer survey conducted by the National Association of Colleges and Employers, some of the top attributes that employers seek in candidates are problem-solving skills, ability to work in a team, strong work ethic, analytical ability, and communication skills, all of which can be gained through a liberal arts degree. You'll discover that different fields have very different hiring timelines and methods. Employers in some industries hire very early, both for internships and for full-time positions. In finance, for example, internship hiring might happen more than a year in advance of the actual internship itself. Certain intelligence internships or government agencies that require security clearance also have very early deadlines. To give students a chance to explore as many opportunities as possible with some of those early deadlines in mind, Career Services begins hosting career fairs at the beginning of the fall semester usually starting during the second week of classes. Early fall is also the beginning of employer info sessions and other events that carry on throughout the academic year. All this early activity makes it easy to feel like you're behind before the semester really gets going. But it's really important to remember that 
the fields that hire early are the exception, and most students, especially first year students, find their internship or summer jobs in the spring semester. In fact, almost as many students secure opportunities in mid to late spring as do in the fall. Industries like government, law, nonprofit, media and entertainment, healthcare, and more predominantly hire their interns and full-time positions in the winter and or spring. The best thing incoming students can do is to pace themselves, take time to acclimate um, and explore, and then work with career services to understand the hiring timelines and norms for the industries and fields that interest them the most. Another common misconception is that career services only support students interested in specific industries, which is also just not the case. Finance and consulting are two industries among the most popular for all undergrads at Penn. For one, it's because they hire early, but it's also because those employers frequently engage on campus through interviews, information sessions, and career fairs. Because of their recruiting styles, they're very visible for students and engage with students very early, often before students have explored all the other types of career paths that are out there. In career services, we offer many resources and programs designed to support students of all interests. For instance, we have many subscriptions to industry-specific job and internship platforms. Students and alumni can access these subscriptions for free, including the Tom Manitas list for opportunities in politics, policy, government, and human rights, and also DevX, which features listings in international development. One of our most popular subscriptions is Vault.com, a centralized source of information on company lists by topic area, as well as industry and interview guides that give insights into common career entry points, a typical day in the life on the job, and even technical interviewing questions. Our College Alumni Mentoring Series, CAMS for short, offers students the opportunity to hear directly from alumni from the college who are working in different industries. These mentoring meals are meant to illuminate how students' academic paths coincide with their career aspirations and offer the opportunity for students to connect with and learn from college alumni. Students may also participate in our Discovery Days program, which provides first years and sophomores exploratory workplace experiences with Penn alumni to help them understand whether a job or industry is compatible with their skills, their interests, their abilities, and their work values. These are all just a few of the ways that you can engage with career services and use our resources that will hopefully inspire you to choose the best career path for you. We've covered a lot of information here. I know it's a lot to take in. Luckily, this recording will remain available to you to review at your leisure. Much of this information is also available on our website, careerservices.upenn.edu. While we will be re working remotely this fall, we can't wait to meet you. Welcome to Penn.